Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back putting a positive spin on the Pet Cemetery remake. This remake of Stephen King's Pet Cemetery was released in 2019 and received a lot of hate. It sort of has that remake curse, I guess. People just have a lot of problems with remakes. But with a movie like Pet Cemetery, considering the story, wasn't a remake necessary? Stephen King's original novel and the original Pet Cemetery movie are about things coming back, but different. Well, this remake is a return of the story, and it's also different. It's the same thing, but it has definitely changed. Jason had seen this before, but this was a first time watch for me. I really didn't know what to expect. The majority of horror fans seemed to hate it. Jason, on the other hand, said he remembered liking it, and my buddy Eric from Hey Internet Eric here also likes it. To me, that's significant, because the original Pet Cemetery is Eric's favorite horror movie. So if he likes this remake, why shouldn't I? Well, as it turns out, I didn't just like it. I loved it. So let's get into my positives for this positive spin. I love the music. I thought the score was chilling, dark, sad. So perfectly fitting. I really like the small main town to which the Creed family moves. This remake was actually filmed in Canada, but it's set in Maine. Their new house is really cool too. I like the look of it. As for the Creeds, I'm pretty happy with the casting. Based on some things I read, I see that Jason Clark as Lewis Creed gets a lot of criticism. I thought he played the part really well though, in a realistic way. He seems like a tired, overworked doctor who needs a break. Now, I loved Dale Midkiff as Lewis Creed in the original Pet Cemetery, and even though I wouldn't say Jason Clark looks like Dale Midkiff, he does things that sort of resemble him. Faces he makes, the way he talks, I don't know what it is specifically. Jason and I were both saying while we were watching this, Lewis and Rachel look like a real married couple. They just both look like they've been beat up by the reality of life, which adds reality to the movie. For me, that realism is a positive. Casting did a really good job with the Gage character in this remake. The twins who share that role definitely have a striking resemblance to Miko Hughes of the original. And I personally prefer the Ellie character in this remake to the original. Now, as for Judd Crandall, a big character of contention, it would seem. There's no such thing as a real pet cemetery like this one. At least I hope there isn't. So there was obviously no way Fred Gwynn could reprise the role. But instead of just giving us any old actor, they gave us John Lithgow. I'd say that's a positive, and he did a great job with the role. He delivers those famous lines well, and he definitely delivers on the emotional moments. I liked him a lot as Judd. It doesn't mean I don't love Fred Gwynn's portrayal. I love both. The same way I love the original Pet Cemetery, and I also love this remake. I'll never understand why some people think it's one or the other. If they love the original, they can't like the remake? That seems silly. Especially with a remake like this one. I'd say this is a companion piece to the original. And that's because of maybe my biggest positive of this remake. The twist. They did something very different here. It was a clever change. I won't spoil what it is, just in case you haven't seen this movie. But that change, of which I'm talking, makes this an alternate version of Pet Cemetery in a way. If you prefer it one way, you still have the original to watch. And if you like it differently, well, you have this remake. It's sort of a what-if scenario about a movie about what-if scenarios. And that's exactly what it is when you think about it. 
Pet Cemetery is a big what if. What if this time it works? What if nothing goes wrong? And that, for me, is what makes Pet Cemetery so scary. The book, and the original film, and this remake. Most of the time when you watch a horror film and see a character doing something stupid, you think to yourself, well, that's dumb. I wouldn't do it, so I'd be okay. But in Pet Cemetery, you can't help but to relate to Lewis Creed. Chances are, you'd probably make the same mistakes he does. Because, why not take a chance? If anyone had the opportunity to bring back those they love most, why wouldn't they try? Because, what if? You can't fault him for doing what he shouldn't be doing, because you would do it too. One of the scariest things about the original Pet Cemetery are the Zelda scenes. Well, this remake also features Zelda, and she's terrifying. I was really worried about how this remake would handle her character, with her being so iconic in the original. But it delivered. There are actually some things regarding her in this remake that I prefer. The whole dumbwaiter thing, for example. Now that's scary. I love that there are certain things that happen in this remake that also happen in Stephen King's original novel, but don't happen in the original movie. That's not to say this remake is closer to the original source material, especially with that big change I mentioned, but it's nice to see a lot of those things that they didn't use in the original film. One of those scenes from the original novel, by the way, is a Halloween scene, so that's a huge positive. They go into more of the history of the actual burial ground, and I like that. The procession scene in the beginning of the movie is creepy, so that's a positive. I love the use of the animal masks, and one of them comes into play later on in the film. It has a really good atmosphere with all of the mist, the color tone, the lights and shadows, so that's another positive. The kills are very brutal in this remake. It basically becomes a slasher in the third act. Other than the big twist, this remake makes a lot of other clever choices as well. Certain things you expect to happen because of the original movie either don't happen here or don't happen in the way you expect them to. The ending is super dark, and the alternate ending featured on this Blu-ray might be even darker. And I had such a big smile on my face as the closing credits rolled with a cover of Pet Cemetery playing. Not only did they remake the movie, but they remade the song. That's awesome. It sounds funny, but the cat, which was a real cat, that played church, was fantastic. The movie is very fast-paced. While the original definitely had a lot of emotion, this remake does as well. I feel like there's a lot more I want to say about this because it really, really impressed me. But I'll leave it here. I'll say it again, though. Pet Cemetery, the remake, is more of a companion to the original. And for that reason, and all of the other positives I mentioned, this movie should be commended, not hated. Of course, you don't have to agree. This is just my positive spin. Be sure to check out Jason's as well. To which hated movie will we next give a positive spin? Check back soon to find out. Until then, though, what are your thoughts on the Pet Cemetery remake? Do you like it or do you hate it? Comment below and let me know why. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.